See that right there? The hawk shop. Something you may not have known, but on my travels, I like to stop at pawn shops and buy like old school, like $1 CDs. Sometimes you get them for 50 cents because I dig the old school dance music. Check this out. <sighs> Master Mix 93, yes please. Old school Fat Boy Slim. Okay, don't judge me on that one. Aqua, <gasps> Snap, ooh, I remember having that one. I used to have the cassette tape and another Euro dance mix from like the 90s. Super fun. But today's little adventure inside of the pawn shop turned out to be a little bit more than what I bargained for. What is this, Chrome? What is this? Check it out. <laughs> a roto molded cooler. But hold on, Chrome. I thought you guys had a little pelican. I do have a little pelican. But I wanted a bigger one so I could store more things. And he was not budging on the price of this thing at all. The cooler had a default. It was missing the bottom drain plug. It was gone. He wanted $150 for it. I was like, <laughs> with no drain plug? What's the point? I went over to Canadian Tire because they have these. They're regular $380. But when I went in there, they were on sale for $299. So I came back here and I said, hey, look, what can you do on the price? He's like, well, I'll do it for 100. And I was like, nah, no way that's gonna happen. How long have you had it? He said, a few months. I'm like, look at the floor space this thing is taking up. So I picked it up for $80 cash and guess what? Canadian Tire sold the drain plugs for these things. <gasps> so I feel like I kind of got myself a brand new cooler and he was holding on the price because he said this thing looks brand new. It still had all the dividers and stuff inside, but it was a little dirty and a little scratched up. And I don't think, I think a majority of this stuff should be able to come off with like a good scrub down. It's got some marks and stuff on it, but I think I should be okay. I'll go grab a magic eraser and see if we can pull some of it out. But I got myself an $80 cooler. Check it out. Oh, I already transferred over everything that was in here into here. <laughs> it's got a divider in here. There's nothing in on that side, but pretty awesome. Now I can actually store food instead of like before. I used to keep all my vegetables and stuff outside of the cooler. Now, well, I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> okay, we gotta go. It's super windy, one second. <laughs> hey Chris. Hey buddy. We got ourselves some new music. Great, new more loud music, right? Yep. And we got another cooler. Which means if I go buy you some raw dog bones, now we got some room to store it. How you feel about that? You feel good? Mwah. All right. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like the energies in life just take you to the places that you need to go in that point in time to bring everything all together. Like today, gold mine on the music. I'm so pumped to crank it up while I drive. And otherwise, like, it's just, you get there and it's like, cooler, hello, hi, how are you, cooler? My name is Chrome. How would you like to come on a van life adventure with me? Just awesome. Um, but on the note of the cooler, I've been on a really big tippy tossy sort of tippy tossy. There's the new word <laughs> um, place when it comes to being refrigerator, cooler, fridge, cooler, fridge, cooler. I didn't know which way I wanted to go. I knew I wanted something bigger. Now that I'm cooking more often and keeping more food in the van, having more space is necessary. But then on the other hand, do I get a fridge that requires power consumption on a daily basis? So I don't have solar in my van. So that would mean I would have to pull power off my deep cycle battery all the time. And sometimes even just editing, I drain that thing down to 50% in a day, no problem at all, let alone have something that's constantly pulling power off of my deep cycle. So I could add a double one, but that's, it's always, I'm, I'm, I'm in a really weird place. I have a weird feeling when it comes to adding a fridge to my van. As much as I want it, I don't wanna spend the money. And I have seen this across the board and lots of comments from you guys saying, Chrome, check out this fridge. Chrome, check out this fridge. It's only 500 bucks. Here's my thing. I see a lot of people buying fridges from like Chinese companies and stuff like that, just weird named fridges. 
like truck style fridges that they're like, you know, it was great, it was cheap, but then the compressors go. And now they bought themselves a $500 fridge, a year later their compressor goes, they contact the company, they don't sell the compressors, now what do you do? I've heard a lot of really uneasy feeling things for me about buying a cheaper fridge. But I always hear people that talk about their ARB fridges and stuff like that and are total fans and love them many, many, many years after they've bought it. So that was my toss up. Do I buy a cheap fridge and get screwed in a year because then it broke? Now what? Now all my food's gone. Now I'm screwed. So think about that scenario. So I've been the kind of person that's like, I would rather invest in a big proper fridge from the very beginning. Like find one that is like, stick into the guns like an air b or whatever other fridge companies there is out there so that was my toss-up because a fridge requires constant power i don't have that so then it came to me thinking about well chrome what's it been like the last two years with just a fridge fine i have no complaints on putting ice in my cooler zero the only time you put ice in your cooler a fair amount is in the summer but now that winter is here even in my Pelican cooler, which sucks at holding ice, in the colder weather, a couple bags will last a whole week in that thing. So if I look at it, I'm going into winter, I pick up a cooler for 80 bucks, a bigger one. Well, it came to about 90 by the time you add the plug and stuff to it. But 90 bucks, I got myself a big cooler. Boom, I'm happy, easy to go without spending substantial amounts of money on adding more power to my van, plus the expense cost of adding a fridge. So think about these kind of things when it comes to you guys wanting to add things to your van. Remember, adding a fridge, buying the fridge is a big expense. Then you gotta buy the power needs it takes to power that fridge, which ideally would be a solar panel pulling power in all day while that fridge is pulling power out of your battery. So it's just constant, like in, out, in, out. I don't have solar. And as of right now, I don't have the need to add solar to my van and I don't see that happening for quite some time. Right now, I'm happy with my deep cycle battery running off of my engine while I drive. It just seems to work for me. Anyway, I just thought I'd make a quick little video while I was out buying some CDs and bought myself a nice new fridge. Um, fridge, can I call it a fridge? Cooler cooler so let's hope that thing holds ice at least four days i'd be pumped with four days um yeah i'm super excited it might be kind of cool to, to to mount that one so the drain plug constantly drips out so or even have it so it's on a valve so i just open the valve and it drains i don't know i have to figure it out because that's a pretty big chunk in the back of my van now i gotta figure out how i'm gonna make this whole new space work but you know, for those of you who are really on the fence as well too on whether you want to put a fridge or a cooler in your van, think about my scenario. I've been happy putting ice in my cooler. No matter what you look at it, if you wanna pinch pennies and rate down to the very last dime, no matter what I do in my life, whatever I'm doing is still cheaper and more fun than it was paying rent. So to me, to put ice in my cooler is still, pay, it's still cheaper than paying for electricity and stuff like that in my house. I don't mind it. Plus the beer stays cold because it's in the ice all the time. And it's super great, especially if you can have a clean side of your cooler where you can have ice cubes ready. So if I happen to reach over here, squirt some of this Kool-Aid stuff in here, I can throw some ice cubes in it, bonus. So sometimes it is nice to have ice in your van, but you guys are gonna do whatever you guys need to do to make your van life as comfortable as you want. But take it from me guys, keeping things simple sometimes, just it, it just works because no matter what I do, that cooler is gonna have cold beer inside of it. It's never gonna break down, it's never gonna not turn on for me, I'm never gonna have a compressor problem, I'm never gonna have any issue as long as I have access to buying ice. Or in the winter time, just stuffing snow in the cooler, whatever it takes to keep the beer cold and your fruit and vegetables or whatever else you're throwing inside that cooler cold. So there's plenty of options for stuff like that if you don't want to purchase ice. I've even heard people going into like A&W with a little bag up to the pop machine and just pushing the button and just filling their little bags full of ice and doing that until their coolers are full. Hey, there's lots of ways to get ice, I guess, but 
keep things simple, you guys. Thanks for watching this. I don't know why I shared this, but the, you know, whatever. Hey guys, I bought a new cooler. Yes! Now to go get some more ice to fill up the other side of it, and then I can put all my beer in the cooler and not have to worry about only keeping two or three in my old one because that's all that fit. Now, I got tons and tons and tons of room. I see Cruz is doing what he does best, but hey, good job, bro. Good job. Huh? Way to keep it real. All right, you guys, see you soon.